I have a slew of new drugstore products that we are gonna dive into, a bunch of things actually, foundations, I have some lip products, some cheek products, even some eye products. We're doing some liquid shadows from the drugstore and I'm very excited, and I'm very excited. There is a good variety of brands. We have Hard Candy, Elf, Colourpop, Makeup Revolution, even Essence. I don't use a lot of Essence, but one of you recommended this to me and I'm, say less. <laughs> I am so easily persuaded don't even get me started. And I do have duplicates of some things. I have several lip products and I have several cheek products. So we'll try and like dive into them as we go. And I also did buy most of these things myself, I think. I think the only things that I didn't buy myself are the Makeup Revolution things and the Colourpop things. But this e.l.f. one I bought myself. This is a Soft Glam Satin Foundation. I got it in Medium Neutral, which I feel... What's the... This will be a good match, right? <gasps> breaking the seal. So we are gonna see if this is the right shade or not. And we'll zoom in a little bit as well, of course. I mean, it's definitely darker than my face, but I also have quite tan right now. So I actually think that this shade might be a really good shade to match the rest of my body because Lord knows, right? Lord knows my face is not as tan as my body. My body is kind of getting into it. I will link all of these things down below and also in the YouTube shopping button if they are available. In case you want to check out any of these things and my links are affiliated. So if you do shop through my links, I do earn a commission and thank you so much for supporting my channel. Let's zoom in so we can actually see something. I've heard some really good things about this and I've also heard some not so good things about this. So let's see what I think. I'm actually going to use a sponge. So I have oily combo skin and I live in a very humid climate. So I want to see how is this like soft glam satin foundation going to work on me. It says medium buildable coverage, long lasting. And that's the reason why I'm like, maybe I should try this out because it does say long lasting, which usually means that it's not going to slip and slide right off my skin. It's not going to be too dewy glowy and I will hopefully be able to like work with this. That actually looks really nice. And you can see that this color is pretty good for my skin, actually. I think that that looks really great. I also bought that new brow product from e.l.f. I'm dying to try that one out and see if it's any good or not. And I don't, I, I don't have a lot of things to cover right now because my skin is in a really good spot, but that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate a really nice, good coverage every now and then. I would say that this is probably like an medium coverage right now. It says buildable, which is usually like medium, but you can build it a bit. Uh, just right coverage and a long wearing satin finish with dehydration. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, it doesn't really say much more than that, but satin finish long wearing, I'm guessing that could be somewhere around that like glowy foundation from North. That's like a really good glowy satin foundation that's still long wearing because the glow is in the formulation. It's not that it doesn't dry down. And that's what I need. If I need a foundation that either dries down or almost dries down, that's usually where the long wearing comes in. So I gotta say that does look really beautiful and you can definitely see that there's a satin finish. It's starting to dry down, but it hasn't fully dried down. So I think I'm gonna like leave this as is right now. Maybe I'll use a little bit of concealer. I feel like I had a drugstore concealer here somewhere. Hello? Oh, here it is. It is the Maybelline uh, Stay Fit, right? Super Stay. Oh my God, I keep Stay Fit. Who would name their concealer that? Angie, get a grip. But I'll use a little bit of this one and then I'll do my brows, except the brow gel. I'll just start with a pen and then we can try that new, what is it even called? It is the Brow Lamination Gel, the one from e.l.f. I need to see if this is a good drugstore alternative. And if not, I do have a really good drugstore alternative to recommend to you. Okay, so I feel like my expectations are pretty high because if they call this a Brow Lamination Gel, it says before and after. Precise, mess-free application. Uh, comb and brush duo. Okay. Okay, so I guess that you, oh, you t mm -hmm. this is very similar to what Too Faced did. They did a similar to this, but it this wasn't transparent, so you couldn't see it. Oh, this is like white. That's interesting. Okay, so let's apply some in our brows. 
Usually when you apply stuff like this, if you want to get a lot of product in it, brush against the hairs. And then we're going to use that like comb applicator. Okay, so let's get this one off. I'm thinking I'm going to use the side with a little brush. Okay. Okay, let's leave that for a little bit and see if that even like does something. I actually don't know. I got a lot of things from Makeup Revolution. I got the Lip Shift Stain, which is one of those like, oh, this one has a plastic on. Mm. It's one of those that like goes on blue and then leaves a stain. And I kind of want to see if we can use this as a lip liner. And I also got some of their, their new like pep juice peptides, juicy peptides. That's what it's called. These seem very lovely. I'm not going to be using these today. I will say, look at this color. It's like a chocolate brown. This one is called Latte. Ooh, do these smell? Maybe we should try that first. Let's see if they smell. Because this one is called Latte. This one is called Spice. Do they smell? Just smells sweet. I don't know if they smell different, but it smells very sweet and like lovely. No, this one smells different. Huh. Okay. That one just smelled like a really, you know what I'm saying when I'm saying like a really sweet coffee, when it's more sugar than actually coffee. Like, was coffee present when this coffee drink was made? Nobody knows. Okay, and this one smells very juicy. Yeah, strawberry. Okay, so they do smell like the name. And this one is ice. The smell of ice. It smells like tutti frutti. That's how it smells. Okay, these are actually really nice. Let me smell that coffee again. The one that's called latte. Well, it's a very sweet coffee of soul. You know, is coffee in the room with us right now? Unclear. But I kind of want to see if we can do this one as a lip liner. Okay, let's see. I think you're supposed to peel this one off. We'll see. This one is still a little tacky. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, something is itching. Itchy, my itch or something. I still have not powdered under my eyes either and I probably will wanna, I'm just gonna fill in some hairs. I can already tell. This is like almost dried down. It's not sticky, but there's a little bit of like a creamy tackness left. So it's not like fly paper makeup, but it definitely is not by any stretch of the imagination, a powder matte finish. So I, with oily combo skin, and since it is July in Austin, Texas, I will need to set this down a bit. Otherwise, the longevity, I can already tell you, will be two hours. But I will wear this throughout the day. Oh my God, I need to buy new of these. They're, they're running out. And when they do, they become a little messy. It is time for a new one. So I don't know if the brows are gonna stay here all day because they don't feel like they totally dried down. They feel a little creamy, but we'll see, we'll see. Look at that. Ah, oh, will this stain? Oh my God, this is exciting. This is like opening a gift. Unwrapping my lips. So they do stick, but they do almost like stain my fingers, which I don't know how I feel about. Let me get a makeup wipe because I feel like I'm staining my fingers with these, which is like not what I wanted. So I'm wondering if this is easier with tweezers. Okay. Well, I definitely did get a stained lip liner. I don't know if this is 100% the look I'm going for. Let me go in. This is Oh Snap by Colourpop. I just need to make it a little sharper. I like a defined lip. Not everybody likes that. I mean, it works, but I do love a stain more in the inside of my lips. But I've seen so many people do that, like, stain lip liner. I wanted to see if I liked it. I don't know. I don't know if it's for me. I like the stain in the inside and then, like, a gloss over it. That's pretty. I should have done that instead. 
Okay, so I have the ColourPop new lip oils. They did actually end up sending me these. I was on the website wanting to buy them, but they did end up sending them to me. So now I'm like, which color do I want? Part of me kind of wants to get this like dark one because this is the one that I had two in my cart and I was gonna order them. And then I was actually talking to ColourPop about something else. And she was like, no, don't buy them. I'll send them to you. So this is the one that I had in my basket, the dark red one, because you know, I've been so into red lip oils. And then I also had, oh, I think it's this one, the so sassy one. I've, oh, you can't see anything. There you go. I think this was the other shade that I had in my basket. So I feel like these are the two that I'm definitely gonna be like trying out. So I love the component of this one. It's a very nice, actually kind of luxurious component. And whew, oh my God, that is so, I was gonna say hard. <laughs> That's what she said. It smells very minty, which I love. Applicator is great. Reminds me a lot of the, <coughs> maybe the stopper could be a little less tight. Reminds me a lot in consistency of the itchy, itchy of the elf ones. A little thicker, a little balmier, but not sticky. But it like tells me that they're gonna stick around for a bit, little bit longer. But yeah, that stopper uh, is a little bit intense. Let me see if the other one is the same because the stopper is definitely too tight. Yeah, this is the same, okay. The stoppers could be a little less tight, I'm just saying, but that looks really beautiful and it feels lovely too. I am not feeling any kind of, because this is a plumping lip oil, right? Plumping glossy lip oil. I would say that this is a hybrid between a gloss and a lip oil. It is a little bit balmier. It has a little bit of a consistency to it that pillows the lips and just stays on for a little longer. I can already tell by the formula. It has a very minty sensation, but it is not stinging on my lips at all. And I'm actually really liking the result and how it feels. It reminds me of the e.l.f. lip oils, but with some mint and honestly, prettier packaging. So. Very impressed with that, honestly. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer because I don't have a new one. So we're gonna use this one from, from Milani. It's a really, really good one. So let me go in with a little bronzer and then we can dig into the cheek things because I have a couple of things and you told me, you told me, because I said I was like a little over these like cushiony, poofy packagings, but one of you told me actually the product inside is really good. So I am trusting you and we are gonna be trying that one out and see if it's actually anything worth writing home about, which I do hope it is because Essence is a more affordable brand and I'm always excited to find more affordable things that are good, not good for the price, actually just good products. Okay, so I did put a little powder in my T-zone and under my eyes because, well, I needed to. I'm using the one size powder a really nice one and I just needed to do my t-zone I'm not doing my cheeks because we are going to be doing um some creep products I did want to talk about because I do have the Colourpop um cream bronzers they these were sent to me as PR and I did do a reel but I don't know if the reel is up yet because i just got home from Seattle. I did a little family vacation with my husband and my father-in-law. I've been doing a lot of trips this year, but most of them have been work trips, but this was actually just vacation and it was really, really lovely. But I did film a reel with this one before. This one is in the Weightless Liquid Blush and this one is in Culver City. And I did actually really enjoy it. I thought these were pigmented, but not too pigmented. They were not like overly, like I don't know what to do with myself. And they did uh, dry down, but not to a powder matte. And they looked really nice on the cheeks. I was very impressed, but I've only used them once so far, but I thought I'd give you like, that was my first impression of these. I am pretty impressed, but I will use them more of course. But we have the Baby Got Blush and Baby Got Glow from Essence. And this one is in Coral Crush and this one is in Sassy in Silk. Really sassy in silk. Okay, sure, go off. And I have not even swatched these. Oh, these are one of those that you twist and it opens, which is the better type of packaging because it means it won't like squeeze and just get all over the place like the ones from e.l.f. Oh, and I can already tell that there's more product in these than some others. Oh, okay, that was a little intense. That's squirted all over the place. <laughs> Who allowed me to be here? 
who allow me to be here. So let's do um, maybe actually I don't know what I'm doing. Famous last words. I'm going to be using a smaller brush because I don't want to get it everywhere. Does this smells sweet? I don't know if I needed it to smell sweet, but I can tell you already that it does. That actually looks really good. It's not super pigmented, which again can be really nice if you are used to working with overly pigmented products and you sometimes think that that is a little hard. It's always easier to work with less pigmented products and you can just build. But I also will say that pigmented products have the ability of stretching over more skin tones. So if you, cause I'm have a medium foundation on right now. I do have a little bit of a tan. If you have a deeper skin tone than me, this probably will not show up on you. I will say it does leave a little bit of a glow, but I wouldn't say that it is a shimmery formula. But this one is though, the one that is sassy and silk. <laughs> Sounds like one of those romance novels that you buy at like the grocery store. If you know, you know. Okay, let's see. Huh? Huh? Let's do a little bit of this side. I'm gonna use the same kind of a brush. It's not very liquidy, it's almost a little gel-like because you can see it came up a little bit more gel-like. That actually looks absolutely delightful, if I do say so myself. And I mean, I do, it's my channel. Who's gonna stop me? <laughs> I think you can see it's squirted on my finger. I'm about to get demonetized. Please, YouTube, I'm talking about makeup, okay? Be nice. I almost got a little bit too much now. I'm gonna put a little bit above my brows because I like to highlight here. Ooh, I almost got a little bit too much. I have, I have like highlighter here, oh gosh. How was your weekend, by the way? Did you have a great weekend? I know some of you were celebrating 4th of July. I was not. I, like I said, I traveled to Seattle and I've been there all weekend. We came home Monday night and got reunited with our pets, which was lovely. We have been ooh, visiting the Olympic Forest National Park and the Mount Rainier National Park. And then we spent one day in Seattle as well, just going around. We went to the, is it called the farmer's market or like just the public market. I don't remember. We went there and we bought some, we bought gooseberry, oh my god, we bought gooseberry uh, jam that I brought home so that we can use on toast. We bought some lemon pasta. It was really cute. I really liked it. I bought some tea and some dill spices and yeah, I just, I had a really, really good weekend, a pretty like low-key weekend. That looks so incredibly good. I think that these two would probably work even better if you mix them beforehand so the peach doesn't disappear, but I mean, it's not sparkly, it's just glowy. That is delightful. I will link where I got these because wow, I am incredibly impressed. Okay, whoever recommended these to me, you were not wrong. You are not wrong. I'm very impressed. But yeah, I've had a really nice and somewhat chill weekend, I will say. So it's been really lovely to come back and to like work a little bit again. Next time I am going somewhere, I'm actually going on a work trip. So I'm going uh, to Cosmoprof. I'm going to Cosmoprof as a brand owner. And it's going to be really fun to go back to meet with some suppliers and to check out all the news and all of that. It's going to be so fun. We are going to be playing with the Hard Candy Moods Shadow Paints. This is a bold, buildable liquid eyeshadow. And I bought these myself from the Hard Candy website. And of course, I got the colorful ones. Ooh, they look almost like markers. That is so cute. So I bought the shade that is called Idol, which is the blue, like a climb blue. And then I bought this one because I thought, and that's why I'm wearing this top. It's not cute. This is in Trip. So I want to see how these are. Do I have a clean brush? I don't think I have a clean cinch brush because again, I was traveling with my brushes. But let me see if I have something else that I can blend with because I would like something that's a little clean. Maybe this one. This is from Blend Bunny. I can use this one. And maybe this one, this is a refer brush. Is this even clean? It's almost clean. <laughs> maybe this is what we get. Okay, you are seeing some swatches of these, but I am so excited to try these out. 
the colors look pretty much like like on the inside they look like they do on the packaging i'm so excited that is so cool they smell like ingredients uh they smell a little i don't want to say chemically but they definitely do not have an added scent to them um i'm just gonna do a two-toned look i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> so i am just putting some on directly and now i'm just gonna try and blend this out i'm starting a little and blending and then we'll add if needed usually with liquid shadows it's better to start small and then add a little bit more. And maybe we can see if they dry down. Because I have a little bit of hooded eyes, especially in here. So we are going to be able to see if these crease. I will say it does give a punchy color, but I definitely, let me add a little bit more. I definitely want more of a color, but I think we can add more now that I have blended a bit. I want to do a look with only these, these two eyeshadows and nothing else. Okay, this is not perfect, but it is doable. I, I'm not adding anything under my eyes yet. We'll get to that in a bit, but it's definitely not perfect, but it is, it is doable. And sometimes, sometimes that's enough. I, I don't know how I feel about this part though. Okay, it will, it will do. <laughs> it will be okay. I didn't use a primer which sometimes I do with cream and liquid shadows and sometimes I don't. I thought since I'm just painting these on, I didn't need a primer. I hope I don't need a primer, but we'll see. If they crease, I might use them again with the primer instead. That is a really cool color. And we're just gonna do, like I said, a two-toned look. Oh, it's the same with this one. It just blends out to something a little bit more sheer, but hopefully we can build it up a little bit once I've like blended. Is that great? No. Is that okay? I will say the blue was better than the green. This is pretty sheer and doesn't look like this one's on the eye, which is a shame. It works, but it's not great. Okay, I'm less and less impressed with these the more I work with them. You can see they dry down a little patchy and these two colors did not blend together at all. And there is a little creasing, so I would say these are a skip. You don't need these. I would say these are a skip. I mean, you can see. I'm usually pretty good at eyeshadow, and I don't think that this is. They try to do the about face paints, but this isn't that. These aren't opaque. They don't dry down quickly enough to be crease proof, and they're not blendable enough. We're going to put something sparkly on top, though, that usually solves everything. If you're in this situation, if you're in this situation and you're like, damn, what am I supposed to do? This looks so weird. Put on something sparkly and sheer on top. It's going to solve a lot of problems. Let me go get something. I just realized that I decluttered most of my Super Shock shadows. So this is the one we're doing. This is Flying Circus. But this one has like a sheer base and a sparkle, but it is purple. So purple it is. That's how it looks. And we are going to put that all over. And would I have preferred something that was a little bit more diamondy sheer? Yeah, but this, this is what we had. So this is what we're working with. And I'm just going to pat that all over. And that's going to solve some of the problems. Okay, so this eye look is like chaos. 2.0 so i put some glitter over it still looks questionable and then i did liner it still looks questionable a little white eyeliner we're gonna put on a lash see if an eye look is horrible and you don't have time to redo it lashes and a liner oh my god i'm gluing my eyes together do the 2016 method lashes and a liner will save a bad eye look but this is a bad eye look <laughs> I'm not gonna sugarcoat and be like, oh, we saved it. We didn't. We didn't. I look like I crashed into a circus and there were casualties. My blending was one of them. She she left the chat. <laughs> okay, time for the finishing touches. These are the Juvia's Place Nubian Lash Kush. I think you can see here. Kush. Medium volume. And I have cut mine up. You can see mine are cut up so that they are a half lash. And we're going to be putting these on and hopefully 
this will magically transform to something not this. <laughs> Anything but this. Everything looks better when you zoom out a little bit. So when I zoom out a little bit, I don't think it looks that horrible. And I will say, you saw that as well when I zoomed in. The lips and the cheeks and the skin looks amazing. Like those look amazing. I will say the foundation has somewhat dried down. It feels really good. It feels not sticky, not tacky, not uh, oily or dewy. It feels like you have applied moisturizer and the moisturizer has sunk in. So it doesn't feel powdery, but it feels just like hydrated. And I don't get, no, I don't get anything on my hands while touching my face. So, so far I'm really liking the cheek products. The foundation is really nice. The brow product, I mean, they are stayed in place. And I will say they are less tacky now. I'm going to see how I feel about this. I feel like overall it seemed like a good product, but it definitely doesn't dry down crusty. So if you're looking for something that you can really shape your brows with in any way you want, but you don't want them to dry down to that hairspray texture like the Patrick Ta one, or this was the one I'm going to recommend, the Physician's Formula uh, Butter Brazilian Brow Lift Brow Gel. This one also dries down more like a hair gel or like a hairspray. This one is really good for that. But if you don't want that, if you want something that's a little bit more flexible, but still has a hold, maybe this one from e.l.f. is better. I really do like this one as well. And I think the lip oil is really nice. It feels beautiful. It's minty. It's not stingy in any way, shape or form. The eyeshadow is a hot mess. <laughs> I will tell you right now, these... Even though these are affordable, there are some things from Heart Candy that I actually think are good. This isn't that. You don't need to get these. I bought these myself. I took one for the team and I'm letting you know right now, even if you see these in store, I think these are available at Walmart. Even if you see those in store and you're like, wow, those are affordable eyeshadow, skip that and get something else. I don't think that this was good at all. But yeah, I think that was everything. I will leave everything, like I said, down in the description box and also in the YouTube shopping button. I hope you're having an amazing day. Please let me know if you tried any good drugstore products as of late, and I will see you again on Friday for a new video. Bye!